boy, you know what I thought of? You know what benchmark I thought about pitting the, um, the, um, what is it? The S3 Verge. About pitting the S3 Verge against. Let's see if it'll come up. About pitting the S3 Verge. And I would say this is the GX model, but it doesn't really matter. All S3 Verges are crappy S3 Verge. All the same kind of cards. Thought about using. Let's see if we can copy it over here. Pre install. Like every. I thought about using. Hmm. Quake. Quake. It's an excellent benchmark. What version of the of Quake I've decided to use? Quake. Um, I decided to use the WinQuake client, which would be version one point, um, which would be version one point uh, zero nine. Perfect. Cool. And then, and then, and then use the DOS version. To see what DOS performance is. Like, which, not a lot of people like the fact that I'm using uh, WinQuake. But it's a very good benchmark. Especially since we can't do GeoQuake. On here. So, BMark. You mark max and see if it'll work. Let's see if we will crash the system in. And of course, I'm used, giving this uh, video card the high treason treatment. I'm not going to tell you what, what the uh, processor is, other than it is a mid 90s uh, processor from circa 1996 1997. It is comparable to the AMD K6. That is all you're going to know. Did we freeze? Uh oh. I think we froze. Is this uh? It's not a good thing. I'm, this is not a good thing for me to be doing on my computer here. So, a piecemeal. 14.5 frames per second and 75.1 seconds. 1,090 1 frames. That's pretty abysmal. Now let's try DOS mode.
So let's see. Hmm. What's that? So now I'm going to. So let's run the benchmark in DOS at 640 by 480. Or if it will run at 640 by 480, I hope it does. Hmm. So we'll try it again. Maybe this time without. Yeah, I guess it just doesn't like this video card. Yeah. I should be getting a 3D Rage Pro um, earlier, early this week. But it won't be in, but I won't, but I, so I guess, um, so I guess that means that I won't, it won't be installed until Tuesday. I got, a, I got another idea. Try and see if we can get this benchmark to work. Maybe if we try a different version of Quake. Version 1.06. And it seems like we're not working. Me, I guess it'll count. Let's see how well that runs. So, 34.9 frames per second and 31.2 seconds. 1,990 frames. 34.9 frames per second. That's not bad. That is not bad. And this is version 1.06. So I so the next time we um th that we see is so the next time I start doing the next uh, benchmarks will be with the ATI a 3D Rage a Pro card. So I'll see you guys on the flip side.
how it came in the mail. And this is a, and this is the Rage Pro, uh, 3D Rage Pro PCI edition. And this uh, doesn't just have um, four mags, but it also has addition to stock four mags. It has four more mags, and this card is copyrighted to 1997, circa 1997, ATI Technologies Incorporated. Now, AMD, part of AMD, by the way. So, this has been the system that I've been uh, running the, that I've been running like the benchmarks on. This is a computer that has like a stupid riser board that, that covers the RAM and the CMOS battery and the CPU, which I don't mind the CPU much being covered. I do man, mind the RAM and the and the um and the clock battery being covered up because I just don't like that. And it's kind of annoying to think through that. And it only has two PCI slots, so I'm going to have to get an ISC NIC card. And I'm going to put the original modem back in here at some point. And you can see that as a Quantum had originally originally was using Quantum Bigfoot, but I've gone ahead. And installed another hard drive in here, and this hard drive is um, well, yeah, this hard drive is a Quantum Fireball, 14 gigabyte hard drive. It only recognizes eight gigs of the of the hard drive. Um, the processor is, of course, a Pentium One, socket seven clocked at 200 megahertz so we'll see what this card can do once I get it installed and I'll see you when we get to that See our Fury Rage Pro Turbo PCI in the computer. So let's go to um, yeah, and I and I can notice that there's a better picture quality right off the bat. It's fantastic. I I don't think you can see it here, but I can certainly see the difference. Let's go to let's go to um where is it? Uh Quake. So let's run the one quake benchmark. Let's see what one quake does with this card.
So probably 1,900 frames, I would assume. 62.5 seconds. 17.4 frames per second. Using Windquake version 1.9. Now, yeah, the performance stinks. Using the same or similar graphical settings. They're pretty close. It's going to still give you the same, like, crummy performance. And I've got one more thing to do before we even do the DOS. The, after we do the DOS thing, I thought I'd launch a particular client that was created to mitigate the, the inability to play Quake on Windows. So it was originally designed for the 3DFX Voodoo line. Cards made Canoke, but, but also had patches made for it. <clears throat> and that is a particular kind of implementation that I want to try out. So we start with DOS mode. And now we're in DOS, so let's try this. Yeah, um, blah, blah, blah. Same resolution as before. Thousand nine hundred frames, thirty two point eight seconds, thirty three point three frames per second. So, yeah, I'm gonna quit out of this. Exit. So it's exit DOS mode. Not really much of a difference when you really think about it. In terms of like software support, software is always going to be like the um, the um, not the way to play this game. And this is only running on 32 megabytes of RAM, so it runs like shh, nasty. And so it run, runs like a horse hockey. So kind of got a. Excuse the crappy this is the system.
just kind of showing that off. I can't really show it off. Come on. Yeah, this camera doesn't pick up crap all too well. We're not really looking at picture quality here, we're just looking at performance. But trust me, the Rage Pro is a very good card to go with. If you want a, a nice uh, mid-ground Windows 9X card. That'll work perfectly with a computer. Put this in 16-bit true color, so I'm going to be doing a little benchmark that's going to require that we go into. Hello, GL Quake. We're going to be running the GL Quake benchmark. I think yeah, that's GL Quake benchmark. Which, you know, if I, can, yeah, if you run, try to run GL Quake on the S3 Verge, it'll crash, the, the, it just doesn't work at all with the Verge. But with this card, it should work. Or maybe not. And I thought this was just kind of amusing to run. Such a really nasty benchmark. I'm sure this car can do like a 320 by 200 geo point. I think we're going to have to get a 3DFX video one. And just compare and just run that on a benchmark. With an MMX processor, no doubt. So. Quake is not a good game. Quake is not the greatest game when it comes to this card. And there are just better cards than this. Just get a 3D effects voodoo card, you're better off, 
this is really just showing how sh nasty this card is. Oi! Uh, I should have bought a River 128 PCI. Might have been even better than that. What's this card? It's kind of interesting. It's kind of French mark on. This is not a bad card. This quake does kind of run on here. And I probably have to turn the settings down a bit. As you can see, it's running like crap. And this is this this is all taking a freaking slow. Uh, this is torture. I'm gonna kill the video card. I don't want to have a video card at all. I bought this card to replace the uh, the Verge. I mean, it's still better than the Verge because the last time I tried to run Geo Quake on the Verge. It just wasn't gonna have it. It would crash. Like, this is still better. But the graphics look all horrible. They're all messed up. It's the perfect video card. I found the perfect video card for um, some shit systems. Yeah, maybe I'll run the game at 320 by 200. I mean, this game is best. This game is better on a Pentium 3. Or a fast Pentium 2. It's not that great for this. Okay. That seems like how hard it is. I'm going to be surprised what the benchmarks are. I bet you this is this was torture watching this. Oh. Whoa! 1,900 frames, 2,700, no, two, not 2,000, 272, 272.6 seconds, 4 frames per second. And this is 640 by 480 as well. That's ridiculous. I wonder, let's try something. Let's try something. Um, I'll, I'll have to do some. I'll have to set this up. Actually, it's 1024 by 768. Shit. Shake. 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 So, since I've let it cool down, let's try this again. At a proper resolution that the system can actually handle. The system would. Yup. Yeah, I think a lot of that's due to... Oh yeah. Slow the benchmark. Geoquake benchmark. 
Oh goodness gracious. We're gonna freeze. We're gonna freeze. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, let's turn the demo off. It's gonna be a scroll. So I guess 1996. I guess no, it's not gonna run all that well. So no, it's gonna be the same as old. Yeah, it's a real shame. I like. That's about all. Peace out. Since the computer now will probably hopefully run. And yes, that is a new Yasha. Please be like. It's gonna crap. And it's gonna run like crap. Like usual. We'll see what, what we'll see what I got act what, what actually works properly with this. Now that that it's going to run, hopefully run smoothly, well, it's almost smoothly. It's not a smooth setup. And that's why I tell you people don't do what I'm doing here. Unless you want to run, uh, but let's let let Na let Netscape Navigator crop up because you know Netscape Navigator has got to annoy me for whatever reason, and some people will be wondering why I have that on here. Well, I like that over Internet Explorer. Ooh, poop, poop, uh, Mozilla Firefox. Yeah. yeah, that's not usually a problem, but let's see. It'll actually run a little bit more. But I got this to but this will work with the Rage Pro. If you're wanting if you're wanting to know if this will work with the Rage Pro, um this will work with the Rage Pro. Under Windows 95 too, what I am. Watching uh, Thomas Sheridan on YouTube. Let's see if we can get it all working. Yeah, and I've actually cleaned up my. Uh, Underneath, the green toad is not in there. Oh, watch. But watch, it works. See the specter. It does that from time to time. I think that's more having to do with memory. Let me 
to see how the um we can see how the um how um, the specter uh, doesn't glitch out there are very few video cards that will from the 1990s and early 2000s that will do that that will actually um, not glitch out the graphics in D95 and this is one of those cards the Rage Pro is just a fantastic video card that's about all Peace out. That. Now yeah, whatever. I think one of those is uh, is screw you or something.